boys and girls, it's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. In the basement of my Seattle apartment. If you want to know what my Seattle apartment looks like, I do a show from 3 to 5, 5 days a week, here on this channel, called the NHL Pearls of Wisdom Show. Uh, we do picks. We didn't do picks today, though, but we do do picks. People tell me they're, who they think they're going to win, what the score is going to be, and you get points if you get it right. And at the end of the month, uh, first of all, you get fabulous virtual prizes. <laughs> it's just fun. And uh, second of all, you get to dare me at the end of the month, whoever the winner is, to do something for a month. So that'll be exciting. Today we didn't do it though, because today was one of the finest days in the land, trade deadline. And I did a show for with Off the Wall Hockey John uh, on his channel. We did it for six hours of trade deadline. And it was a blast. I enjoyed it. Wasn't that busy of a trade deadline, but there was still plenty of talk about it. It's freaking hockey. I can talk hockey all day long. Now Sunday was amazing. We're up 27 units. Today, we may lose all of them. <laughs> no, not really. But about 10 or 12 units lost today. So, but this is, and this is the new week. So we got to bail ourselves out. We'll see. But the big one for me was San, San Jose is going on right now. Uh, San Jose. Is playing a team that was on a back-to-back, -back, the Anaheim Ducks, the worst in their division, uh, playing their third-string goaltender, and traded away two of their top six defensemen today. They have a defenseman in, they have defensemen in there that haven't played in the NHL in a long time, and they're getting outworked all over the ice. It is embarrassing. It's only the first period. It was three nothing. Anaheim's got a bad enough team that they could come back, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you picks for today quickly. Then we're going to look at our picks for today. It was a voodoo day. Here's the thing. and I've Trade deadline day can be voodoo because different teams, t different players take things differently. It can be very draining on players wondering if they're going to get traded and all of that stuff like that. And uh, it's, it's hard to, kind of hard to predict which teams will react uh, which way. Like, we'll talk about that today as we talk about our picks. Um, I probably, my mistake is I should have waited till after the trade deadline, but then you don't have any time. Or just fade the day altogether, honestly. But we'll talk about that. Um, so, here we go. Here's your quick picks. Rangers money line over six. This is my fancy paperwork of frolic. Bruins puck line over under five and a half. What is that? Over five and a half. What are we doing? Rask was in that under five and a half. Rask might be back for that game. Uh, that'll be against the Buffalo Sabres. And, oh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Get yourself a Pearl of Wisdom necklace, Pearl of Copter to your door by Hernandez and Melissa, who are working around the clock to provide for you the fine frolic of having a Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Uh, I'll wait right now. How about now? Now, we're trying to get to 1,000 so I can make some scratch from the YouTube. It's not very much, but it's something. Uh, Flames, PL under six lightning money line under five and a half stars money line under five and a half and like i said these can change uh this is my early picks uh sometimes they change if you go through the whole video i can go like ah did i really should i and then tomorrow i things happen things change again goaltenders injuries uh, we don't know tomorrow who's going to be in the lineup and who's not going to be in the lineup that got traded. All of these things happen. That's why I highly recommend you check out the Patreon that I have. Uh, I showed you in the video yesterday, 
last video I did. In the middle of the video, I show you Patreon and what I offer and all of those sort of things like that. You sign up for the $25 all sports package and I'll reimburse you. You'll get a, this month for free and you can try it out. You don't like it, leave. And for you that just wanted those fixed and have to run off now to save families and you know all the things that you do must be very, very important to not to be leaving now in this video, I would think. You go right off. All the other people, get out your study materials and your protractors and your rulers and your uh, calculators and all of that. And we're going to look at our picks from tonight or today, which is the 12th. And we're going to give, we're going to look deeper into our picks for the 13th. Yep, we are. Okay, let's go look at it right now, shall we? Avalanche, we're golden here so far. Okay, uh, sort of golden. Two more goals would be good. We have a unit on the over. But we had large pearls on the puck line. So we're not really golden. We'd like to not see coyotes. Coyotes are out shooting the avalanche 27 to 16. Ouch. <laughs> I haven't been watching that game. I should go over to it. Uh, Hopefully we get the puck line on that because we are going to need it. We have the Kings here in this game. I like the Kings here. Um, we also have, I think it's the under on this one. So that's a little dicey, but still looks like it probably could come in. Um, I just like Peterson. He's had a couple rough goes, but I'm sticking with them. Also, the Golden Knights are on a back to back. The Kings are a feisty little team, man. Uh, I think we have a puck line actually for a buck sixty-five, so good there. Not good here. I had thirteen shots, three goals for the Ducks. Some of the worst exits out of the zone I have seen ever in the lifetime of everything that is. It was horrible. But I, you know, if you're st if you're listening right away to this because it's on right now I wouldn't even be throw a couple bucks on the Sharks to come back in this game I wouldn't doubt it at all the Ducks should not even be close to winning this game I have to figure the Sharks are going to come out humming here uh, there's an attitude thing that has to happen with the Sharks here they obviously were underestimating uh, the Ducks here which is pretty hard to, I mean easy to do in a sense but Where's the mental stability of a professional? My gosh. You go and crush your opponent. These guys look like they partied last night because they figured they had the Ducks. And they had no business doing that. They could make the playoffs still. Pathetic. Honestly, a pathetic showing. Uh, and this is where it just gets voodoo. Uh, we, we had, the, well, we had uh, the Red Wings. We did not have the Red Wings. We had the Hurricanes. But I took it down. When I found out Bernier was in net, I actually, we made a little bit on this because here's a good example. If you watch my video last night, I had the Hurricanes in regulation until I found out the Bernier was in. Now, I didn't go take the Red Wings on that play, but I did say take the Hurricanes bet down and put medium pearls on the under, which we did. So we ended up being up a little bit on that play. I'll tell you right now, we're not up if San Jose doesn't win. We got big on San Jose. So we're not going to be up today. There's no doubt about it. We did have the Blackhawks on my... We had, This is a weird one because I made a mistake. I wanted to put on my, my, my main play for today, Blackhawks money line. But I put in reg for some reason. I was very busy doing a whole bunch of other stuff today, and I made a mistake. My first pick was this Blackhawks money line for large pearls. So my pearls of the day was Blackhawks in reg, so we didn't get that. That's for five pearls. But my earlier pick was Blackhawks before I picked it of the day, and I count this as a pick because I because people would play it, was Blackhawks money line for large pearls. So that brought us up. And we had the over for a unit. 
cut almost breaks even between those two there, so it's not too bad. But then we get screwed uh, here with I, I I'm not taking the Canadians in that spot all day. A uh, little worried for Toronto. Campbell did not look good, and uh, I was kind of worried if he was just on a run. And now they're going to try to roll. If the Leafs screw this because of goaltending, man, after what they did at the deadline today, that's going to hurt. But it's just one game. Campbell can come back, whatever. But we had large on it. And we had the over, which was six. So it was a push. Same here. We had large. And we had the over, which was a push. So, yeah. I'm not taking the Jets in that spot. That happens. The Senators are going to win that game 15% of the time. 15% of the time, they're going to win. And they won. So, it's just the way it is. Uh, you're not going to hit them every time. You, we can go... I can probably cut the Senators going to win to about 7% of the time. Because 5% of the time that they will win, I'll actually pick them in, the, in spots. But this was not a spot. Uh, that except I could have thought that it's trade deadline and voodoo can happen. I think for the most part, I'm going to take him in that spot most of the time. So we're down six and we're down to San Jose. I'm saying we're down 10 pearls. And now look at the Coyotes just made it 3-2. So now we need the Avalanche to get an empty netter here uh, to make that or we're down more <laughs> boy oh boy okay let's look at tomorrow's pick shall we where the heck is tomorrow's picks right here tomorrow's picks okay let's refresh this see what we got there's no goaltenders for tomorrow so i'll try to guess what they may be uh, we have nothing for Calgary and Toronto. So, um, and I just got a penalty. Good. We have nothing for Calgary and Toronto. So, uh, well, as far as odds are concerned, so I'll just throw it in there what we're going to go with. Rangers versus New Jersey. I got to go with the Rangers here. Uh, Shesterkin should be in net. New Jersey should be rolling with Blackwood. Uh, the tough one is the total on this. These are very high, f very fast-paced teams. I'm probably just going to put a little bit. Oh, look at this. You can pull a five and a half on bet online right now. Then I would go over on five and a half there if you can get in on that right away. I'll have to put that on my Patreon here. These are Bodog. This is, by the way, I don't know if you know this. This is all the bookies, whole bunch of bookies here, all the different bookies. Highly recommend you check these out and get involved with all these books. Get in part, get involved with as many books as you can when you're doing this. Because you can get bet online at over five and a half. Even with Shesterkin and Blackwood in net, these two teams play very offensive. New Jersey, although they don't have much offense right now, you know, they're 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 uh, a young team. They brought in Lindy Ruff for this to be an offensive team. They want to be entertaining. So even though they're going to lose right now, they're going to learn an entertaining system. And uh, so uh, I'm going to go over just too much offense in that game for it not to work. And I'm going to take the Rangers. Uh, I, I, I said that I think the Rangers are going to have a much better second half. And uh, so I'm sticking with it. Boston versus Buffalo. After the trade, Hall drove to Boston. Or drove to, I don't know, did he drive to Buffalo? What was that? He drove from Buffalo to Boston to go back to Buffalo? That's weird. He did something. I think he maybe, were, was Buffalo not in Buffalo at the time anyways? I don't know. He drove somewhere to make sure. So Taylor Hall is going to be part of this game. If you don't know, if you don't know, and I don't know how you don't know, Taylor Hall got traded to Boston. Now, that can be difficult for a team to adjust to having new players like Lazar and stuff like that, but Buffalo is just a poopy team. Boston's going to win this. I'm going puck line, and I'm going over. Uh, the only thing that may 
Did I say over? Oh yeah, that's why I scratch it out and went under because I'm not sure Buffalo's going to be able to score enough to push this to and over. By the way, San Jose is ruining Anaheim right now, so they just can't score on the Stolars. On Stolars, Stolars is not a good goaltender. So, anyways, we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, so I'm taking uh, Boston and the under there, I think under Philadelphia Washington um, I gotta take Washington they just made a big deal for Mantha uh, the trade deadlines over they should be relaxed calm through this Philadelphia just sold off a couple players they have no morale whatsoever Washington should win here handily uh, Washington in regulation I would think would be your pick there and uh, over Go over. Those are two teams. Philadelphia's defense is just awful. Washington should just run and gun with them, and they should beat them to a pulp. Uh, what's the uh, total on this? Six? Yeah, six is good. Over. Toronto-Calgary. Toronto on a back-to-back. -back. I actually have Calgary on this game. Um, uh, Calgary puck line. Plus one and a half. It, this is getting 310. I don't think it's going to be that high with Bodog and Bet Online, but you should still get 160. Um, I've been burnt by this before, though. I don't know. I may change that. They could be really pumped because of getting Felino and all of that. And uh, they should be really pissed that they lost. Yeah. That's a tough one. Right now, I'm going to say Calgary puck line, but I may change. I may change. We'll see. Tampa Bay versus Nashville. Uh, Tampa Bay picked up Savard. Savard should be playing in this game. On paper, Tampa Bay wins this game all day. They won the last time 2-0. Uh, I hope, be watching to see if they actually, let's take a quick look here. Are they on a back, are they on a back to back? Tampa Bay. No. They got to win that game. I'm taking Tampa Bay. I'm only going to take them on the money line, though, because they can be outworked. And Nashville is outworking their opponents. So um, I'm just going to take them on the money line, which is only 157. But And I actually probably won't take them for very big. Uh, also, I'm going to go the under on that game. Nashville has got so many injuries on their offense that I don't think that they'll be able to score enough. So, yeah. Stars versus Florida. I'm not betting a lot on this. Either team could win. It's kind of a coin flip. I'll go the home team with the uh, with the over, with the bigger juice, might as well. And under five and a half with Hudobin playing very well and Drigger going to be in and not Bobrovsky. Uh, I could see Florida winning this too. Uh, you can make an argument for both. That's why I say it's pretty much a coin flip. I won't be throwing much on it. I'll throw more on the under probably. Okay, boys and girls, that's my full 42. That's all I have to give today. Uh, you will uh, enjoy the fine programming tomorrow, I hope. 3 to 5 Eastern with the Steel Flyers All Sports Network. It's a network that is growing it's going to be, don't let the Steel Flyers name fool you. It's an all sports, all teams, every team network. We are getting more and more people. If you're interested in being part of something like this, let us know in the comment section. We might work with you sometime. Also, we're looking for sponsors that can be, uh, that get somewhere around 30, 40,000 views in a week right now. So if you have a business and you would like to uh, be seen by that many people, give us a comment in the comment section uh, and uh, I'll, uh, we'll, we'll hook you up with the uh, email and all of that sort of thing like that. And you can do that. So that's my full 42, boys and girls. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.